My name is Joel Levin, uh, and I work here at the Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School in New York City. I'm a, uh, both a technology integrator and a computer teacher. Uh, my students are great. They're, uh, you know, seven, eight uh, years old and uh, just have this kind of wonderful energy to them. Every single kid is a gamer. There's really not too much else in these kids' lives that's such a, a, a baseline. It's a common experience that every single kid can relate to and I can, can tap into and get something out of from them. At home, uh, computers, TV, whatever, it's, it's purely entertainment. In my classroom is the very first time that these, these kids have ever come up against boundaries on a computer. I definitely do teach my kids how to play the game before we really uh, do any sort of meaningful educational content with it. If I just bring the kids into the room and I say sit down and play, it's not going to have the desired results. Minecraft EDU is an alternate version of Minecraft designed by teachers for teachers to use in a, in a school setting with students and also gives the teachers ways to quickly and easily design activities. Minecraft by itself is an incredibly open-ended game. When I started thinking about what to do in the game to provide for the students, I had to add in the structure myself. In the beginning, I started structuring it more saying, you know, we're, we're explorers, we're, we were shipwrecked in this strange land, and the, you know, what are the first things we need to do to survive? And they, they, they started saying tools and shelter, and I said, perfect, now we have a, a goal to, 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 to work towards especially a game that kind of takes place in a completely immersive environment like Minecraft can illustrate a, a particular student's learning styles. You can see the self-directed learners are off and running. They're, they're trying different combinations of things. They're, um, they need to try everything themselves, whereas a, a kid that needs more hand-holding and scaffolding will often go only very slowly one step at a time. They need the reinsurance. They need the confirmation from me that they're on the right path. Remember when I said that I made it so you could destroy any block in the game? Yeah. I'm actually really impressed that I haven't seen ah. anybody destroy any of the fences or the buildings or the beds. I really like that you're treating this world respectfully. There's some lines drawn between genders, but, but there's, there's a lot of overlap as well. Usually if it's a boy that, that likes adventure games and fighting monsters, they'll figure out uh, more and more effective ways to, uh, to engage in combat in the game. Girls tend to more often be focused on the building aspects of the game. They build little houses, they decorate them just so. They'll invite each other over to the houses for play dates. It's, it's, uh, it's very social. Teaching with games in, in the classroom has, has always been fun and, and always just feels like the right thing and the most productive things that, that I do with my time. It's been professionally and personally rewarding for me as well as uh, you know, a, a benefit to my students, at least I hope.